Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Monmore Green for more Premiership Speedway action as the Paris International Wolves take on the Bellevue Aces. Riders already on parade here on Bank Holiday Monday in front of a bumper crowd. Let's quickly take you through the two team lineups. Going for the Wolves at number one, it's skipper Rory Schlein. Kyle Howarth rides at number two, it's Jonas B. Anderson at three, with Sam Masters at number four. Jakob Thorshell rides at five, the two reserves, Ash Morris goes at six, and James Sargent guests at number seven. For the Aces, they're led at number one by Craig Cook. Steve Warrell rides at number two, it's rider replacement operating at three, with Rohan Tungay at number four. Skipper Max Frick rides at five, their two reserves, Dimitri Berger goes at six, and Mark Riss at number seven. So looking forward to a great meeting here at Monmore this evening. The Wolves taking on the Aces in crucial Premiership action. Without any further delay, let's get on with the racing. Heat number one. Max, uh, a brilliant late charge from the Aces uh, in Manchester this afternoon. Uh, here we go then, heat number one, sponsored by Cassini. Riders on track then for the opening race here this evening at Monmore. Two sides doing battle once again after a dramatic meeting up at the National Stadium this morning. And with the riders at the takes for heat one, we'll take you through the lineup from the inside. Going in the yellow and black helmet colour for the Red Truck Bellevue Aces, it is Steve Worrell. Next to him in blue for the Paris International Wolves, Kyle Howarth. In white, gate number three will be Craig Cook. And off the outside, in red, it is Rory Schlein. Referee this evening is Peter Clark. So 15 heats of action about to get underway here at Monmore. Rory Schlein just asking for the green light to be shot. As the starting marshal calls them to order for this opening race. Bumper crowd in here at Monmore on a bank holiday Monday evening. Great to see. As the four riders come to order. Starting marshal walks away. Finally takes away to go fast stop for Kyle Howarth out of gate number two and Howarth into the first corner although Craig Cook for the Aces has made a good one as well and they're locked together into the top corner it's Cook that shows Howarth into the top oh, Howarth's come down and Schlein's come down and Worrell's down as well oh and a bad crash there on the top corner Rory Schlein has gone flying and Steve Worrell instantly across to check on the Wolves number one and captain and a dramatic start here at Monmore this evening and we hope the boys are okay paramedics are already with uh, Carl Howarth and they're just arriving to uh, Rory Schlein as well Craig Cook across to uh, check on the fallen riders he was away and gone and we'll look at that again a really dramatic start it was Carl Howarth away Craig Cook had made a good one as well and they were locked together coming out of the second corner and Cook just with the advantage but then Howard spinning around and Schlein with nowhere to go he's gone right over the top and Schlein that's a really heavy knock for the Wolverhampton captain let's hope he's okay unfortunately Carl Howard the blue light on for him he will be disqualified but at this stage we await the word as to the condition of Rory Schlein Lengthy delay then here at Monmore and uh, concern for Rory Schlein who's been taken away in an ambulance. He won't ride again this evening and so Wolverhampton deploying injury rider replacement and uh, his place being taken therefore in this rerun of Heat 1 by Jakob Thorshell. So the revised lineup for Heat 1, Steve Worrell for Bellevue goes in Gate 1. No rider gate two, it's Craig Cook in gate three with uh, Jakob Thorshell off the outside. So all the pressure on Wolverhampton's super Swede, Jakob Thorshell replacing Rory Schlein and we wish Rory all the very best. No word as yet as to his condition but uh, should we hear anything we'll bring that to you. As the riders are just taking their time here ahead of uh, heat number one. So Wolves in this must-win meeting in the run for the playoffs, already up against it here. They come to order then for the restart of Heat 1, on comes the green line. Rowan, uh, somebody's got stacked on the tapes there into the first corner. The race has been allowed to get to underway, it's caught the shows. And now the red lights are on from referee Peter Clark. A delay there in those coming on. 
Not quite sure who was the guilty man there. Wolves fans think that uh, Craig Cook was uh, moving and caught uh, on the starting tapes. I'll have to reset the tapes, as we'll take another look at that. Yeah, and slight movement from Craig Cook. But word from referee Peter Clark is that it will be a rerun with uh, all three riders. So straight back round for the rerun of heat number one. Hopefully we can get this one away without any further issues. We'll remind you of the lineup. Steve Worrell in yellow and black gate one. No rider gate two. It's uh, Craig Cook in white gate three with Jakob Thorshell in red off the outside. So hopefully no further problems away from the line. Already 20 past eight here at Monmore. And uh, keen to get this meeting moving on a pace. Nobody particularly keen out of these uh, three to uh, come to order. So we're finally ready for the re rerun of heat number one. Sterling Marshall walks away. Oh, moving once again from Craig Cook and once again. He's getting snagged on the tapes. And Rawls fans unhappy with that. Cook, I don't think he caught the tapes with his uh, machine. But once again, we're going to have to uh, try with another restart. We'll look at that again. And you can see, no doubt, Craig Cook was moving, but uh, not touching the tapes with his machine, just on his helmet once more. And so we'll have to try for a fourth time for heat number one. So let's try again then for heat number one. Hopefully uh, we can get this uh, meeting underway shortly. Steve Worrell in your Lumblack gate one, no rider gate two. It's Craig Cook in gate three with uh, Jakob Thorshell off the outside. So as you might expect in this uh, vital meeting for both sides, nerves ahead of this opening race. But uh, Craig Cook in the white helmet colour will have to remain totally stationary this time around. As they come to order, fourth attempt of heat one. Takes fly away they go. Good start for Craig Cook on game number three. Gets to the first corner level with Jakob Thorshell and it's Cook that shows. Here comes Thorshell trying to come around the outside. But it's Cook and Thorshell locked into the top corner. Worrell, he's in third looking for a way through on Thorshell but makes a mistake there. Cook meantime's got away. And the Aces in a heat advantage situation. Thorshell with no answer at this early stage of the opening race. And Craig Cook with plenty of pace, extending his lead. Cook from Thorshell, Worrell still in third. And Bellevue, well, up and running here. And Craig Cook looking good in his opening ride of the night. Thorshell comfortably in second. Worrell's going to have to work some to get to him. And with a lap to go, Bellevue not to be starting brightly here. Down the back straight for the final time. Craig Cook just checking back there just to see where Thorshell is. He's under no pressure whatsoever. And Craig Cook will take the victory in heat number one. He accelerates on one wheel. Second went home, Jakob Thorshell. Third spot went to Steve Worrell. Fine stuff there from the Aces man with a fast start. He took care of Jakob Thorshell on the first corner and he powered his way to victory there. So quickly heading back to the pits. Cook with the win from Jakob Thorshell. Worrell for third, a 4 2 for the visitors in the opener tonight. You have two minutes. You have two minutes. You have two minutes. On we go then to the reserves race. The visitors opening up with a heat advantage. Heat two from the inside sees Ash Morris going for the Wolverhampton Wolves off gate one. Next to him in white for Bellevue. Dimitri Berger, gate three in blue, guesting this evening James Sargent, and up the outside in yellow and black, former Wolf Mark Riss. Well, Ash Morris, I'm sure, will be looking to make a swift start here from the inside gate. Didn't have the uh, best of mornings up at the National Stadium. 
Liverpool's going down by 14 in the end, although uh, they did run that Bellevue close until the latter stages. As they settle down for heat number two. Takes fly away they go. Fast start for Ash Morris. Good one also for Mark Riss. And it is Riss for the Aces that shows. Riss around the outside taking it up. It's Morris in second. Here comes Sargent battling his way past Dimitri Berger. And the Wolves are battling their way through to second and third. But Mark Riss away and gone, making a lovely start from the outside. And Ash Morris with plenty of work to do. Meantime, Dimitri Berger thought for a moment was going to blast his way around that side of James Sargent. But Sargent now comfortably holding third. But with two laps gone of heat two. A shared race situation, Bellevue on their way to their second heat winner. Mark Riss, of course, knows the quickest way around this Monmore circuit. And Mark Riss looking good here. Round they come with a lap to go. Riss from Morris, equidistant ahead of James Sargent. So we're going to have a share race situation out of the reserves race. And Bellevue, two out of two for them. As Mark Riss comes round the final corner, good stuff for the German. He wins it. Ash Morris home for second. James Sargent comes home for third. And a disappointment for Dimitri Berger. But, uh, Mark Riss, who didn't score this morning, much better in his first outing tonight. He uh, starts off with a victory and uh, no lap of honour, straight back to the pits. So Riss with the win from Ash Morris, James Sargent for third, a shared race. And after two heats, five to the Paris International Wolves and seven to the Bellevue Aces. Extra time having been allowed ahead of heat number three as Mark Riss gets the uh, rider replacement ride. Aces using rider replacement for the injured Dan Bewley who uh, crashed out at Workington sustaining serious leg and arm injuries on Saturday evening and we wish Dan all the very best but his season over and so Aces with no choice but to operate rider replacement in his absence. So Mark Riss will uh, take the ride here in the white helmet colour. He lines up off the inside. Next to him in blue for Wolverhampton is Sam Masters. Gate three, yellow and black, Roman Tungay. And off the outside, it will be Jonas B. Anderson. As the starting marshal is happy with them, he now walks away. Flutter takes away, they go. Fast start for the man off the inside, Mark Riss. But it's Sam Masters for the Wolves that gets there first. And it's Masters that shows. B. Anderson gets bumped to the back. And the ace is packing the places. So Masters from fellow Australian Rowan Tungate. It's Mark Riss in third and Jonas B. Anderson trying to work hard to come through from the back of the field. Looking good here for Sam Masters who just checks back just to see where Rowan Tungate is. He's got a 10 metre advantage. Tungate always has mixed nights here at Monmore. But looking reasonable enough in his opening ride of the night. He's not going to get to uh, Sam Masters. And Sam, importantly, has a good night here this evening. Once again, just checking behind. Perhaps doesn't quite have the optimum setup, but uh, seemingly on his way for victory. As they head into the park corner for the final time, Sam Masters, he takes the checker flag of victory. He wins it on one wheel. Rowan Tunga in for second. First spot went to Mark Riss. And disappointment for Jonas B. Anderson after the Dane was shoved aside on the first and second corner. That was pretty much his race done. But no problems out front for Sam Masters. And Sam, he'd be delighted to have started off brightly. And he was an impressive star there in his first ride of the evening. So Masters taking the win from Rohan Tungate. Mark Riss for third. A shared race and after three races here, eight to the Paris International Wolves and ten to the Bellevue Aces. Last man to arrive at the takes for heat number four, Dimitri Berger replacing Mark Riss to avoid the German having three on the spin. And so Berger, who finished at the back in his opening right, he's out here to replace his fellow reserves. So Berger lines up in yellow and black gate one. Next to him in blue will be James Sargent. It's classy Australian and football order to 21 champion Max Frick. He goes in the white helmet colour gate three and off the outside for his second ride of the evening. Once again from gate four, it is Jakob Thorshell. So Wolves down by two points, but plenty of time for them to overturn that. As they settle down for heat four, 
one couldn't see green light. The tanks fly away, they go. Two levels start, man on the inside, Dimitri Berger making it a reasonable one. Max Frick got to the first quarter. He takes care of uh, Jakob Thorschelt, forcing the Swede wide on the second bend. And it's Frick away, although uh, somewhat to out of shape there, coming off the top corner. And Thorschelt chasing hard. It's Sargent in third with Berger after making a fast start. He now finds himself once again at the back. So looking good for Bellevue and Max Frick. Although one mistake, Borshell will be right with him. These two have uh, stolen a march on James Sargent and Dimitri Berger, but crucially for the Wolves, their guest Sargent, comfortably in third. In the share race situation coming up. So Max Frick looking good here as they head down the back straight for the final time. Great stuff from Max Frick, convincing winner of Heat 4. One final challenge cup from Berger. The sergeant almost lets it slip for the third place point. He does manage to hang on, but uh, made hard work of that. And as the riders head back to the pits and the tractors come out for the first grade of the evening, the win in Heat 4 goes to Max Frick. Second event home, Jakob Thorschel. James Sargent for third, a shared race. And after four heats here, 11 to the Paris International Walls and 13 to the Bellevue Aces. On we go then to heat number five. Aces still up by a couple of points. These riders out for their second outings of the evening. From the inside, hoping for better this time around. Jonas B. Anderson, he lines up in red gate one. It will be Steve Worrell. He goes in the yellow and black hermit colour gate number two. Sam Masters goes in at blue off gate three and off the outside in white. An impressive winner of his first outing, Craig Cook. Cook's had some uh, torrid old evenings here at Monmore in recent visits. Crashing out, not least in last year's um, semi-final. Had a tough old night uh, here that night. But to look really impressive in his opening ride tonight. Not going to be here on the outside of Sam Masters. And he was impressing himself in his first ride of the evening. So they come to order, heat five. Takes fly away, they go. Fast start, off gate number two for Steve Worrell. Masters has made a reasonable one, he's trying to force Craig Cook wide, but the Macy's number one emerges around the outside, and it is Bellevue, one and two. Cook on the outside, Worrell on the inside. It's Sam Masters giving chase with Jonas B. Anderson at the back. So the Aces in a maximum situation as they turn on the back straight for the second time. Looking good for them here. Craig Cook, real determination on the first and second corner after Steve Worrell had made a great start. Masters tried to take care of him on the first corner, but Cook was having none of it. And Cook, in fact, pulling away from his team partner, leaving Worrell to fend off any challenge that may come from Sam Masters with a lap to go. The Aces on their way to a 5-1. Plenty of Aces fans have made the journey down the M6, roaring them on here as Cook and Worrell into the top corner. Cook's going to take the flag and victory. Worrell comes home for second, Masters for third. Fine stuff from the Aces pair there in heat five. And they open up a six-point lead. Handshake between them. It was a fast start for Steve Worrell. And Craig Cook with sheer determination to power his way off the second corner to take up the lead. And the Aces, well, they'll be delighted with that. The win in Heat 5 goes to Craig Cook, 2 out of 2 for him. Second man home, Steve Worrell. Third spot went to Sam Masters, a 5-1 to the visitors. And after five races, it's 12 to the Paris International Wolves and 18 to the Bellevue Aces. Second yellow was Steve Worrell. On we go to Heat 6, and uh, unfortunately for Wolverhampton, the word is that Kyle Howarth also unable to continue here this evening and so he is replaced here by reserve James Sargent so the amended line for heat six in white gate number one for Bellevue it is Max Frick Jonas Bjarnason takes the rider replacement ride in red gate two it's uh, Dimitri Berger yellow and black gate three with James Sargent in blue taking a reserve ride off the outside so walls up against it very much so now down by six, heat six, takes fly away they go. Good start for the man on the inside, Max Frick. And the Aces man gets to the first corner. Here comes Berger trying to storm his way around the outside. But it's Frick from Anderson. Berger in third. Oh, a mistake from Max Frick. Max Frick's horribly out of shape. And he's brought his team partner, Dimitri Berger, now. Red lights will be straight on from Peter Clark. 
And I suspect for uh, Bellevue that Max Frick will be disqualified out of that one because he was the primary cause. Good to see Berger back upon his uh, bike and riding back to the pits. No ill effects, it would seem, as we'll look at that once more. And you can see away from the line, Max Frick making the best of the start. And Frick was away as they tore into the top corner and unfortunately Max Frick horribly out of shape and his teammate Dimitri Berger on his direct outside with nowhere to go but down and it will be Frick that is disqualified at the rerun of Heat 6. So Frick disqualified, a perfect opportunity for the Wolves to strike back here. No rider then gate one, Jonas Bjandersen gate two, it's Dimitri Berger gate three with James Sargent, he's off the outside. So seven and a half for the reprint of hit six, takes fly away the go, Dimitri Berger with a wonderful start and Berger for the aces first into the first corner, although Jonas Bjandersen trying to force his way through on the inside and Jonas Bjandersen taking it up for the walls. It's Berger in second after making a great start, Sargent chasing in third. So Berger trying to hunt down the Dane, although out of shape there. Manages to hold on to second, Sargent not close enough to challenge. The Wolves on their way to their first heat advantage on the evening. Jonas Bjandersen extending his lead. It's Berger still in second ahead of Sargent. Down the back straight they go for the third time. The Wolves 4-2 will close the gap by a couple of points. Sergeant trying hard, trying to head down Berger, but makes a slight mistake there. And that will be Sergeant's challenge over. B. Anderson just got to bring this home for the win. Into the top corner for the fourth and final time. Jonas B. Anderson, impressive stuff from him. He wins heat six. Second man home, Dimitri Berger. Third spot, James Sargent. And the Wolves, well, a battling effort from uh, Jonas Bjarnason to force his way to the front. No lap of honour. He's going to head straight back to the pits. So he wins heat number six. Second man home, Dimitri Berger. Third spot, James Sargent. A 4 2 to the Wolves. And after six races, 16 to the Paris International Wolves and 20 to the Bellevue Aces. On we go then to heat number seven as the Wolves look to continue to close the gap on the Aces here. Once again, Mark Risk coming out as the rider replacement up at Bellevue this morning. Mark Lemon, the team manager of Bellevue, utilised Dimitri Berger in the majority of the rider replacement rides and uh, tonight it was seen Mark Risk getting the nod and uh, after winning his first outing and finishing third in his second, and uh, that seems a sensible move. So the lineup for Heat 7, Jakob yeah, Thorshell in red gate 1. It is Mark Riss in white off gate 2. Gate 3 in blue will be Ashley Morris, and off the outside in yellow and black, it is Rohan Tungate. It's Tony Marshall happy with the four riders. He walks away. Takes fly away, they go. Good start from the man off gate number two, Mark Riss, with another fast start. And here comes Rowan Tungate right around the outside of his team partner, Omar Will, and Tungate taking it up. Tungate then from Riss, and the wall's in trouble here. Jakob Dorschel didn't get away particularly quickly, slots into third, and he'll try and hunt down Mark Riss. The wall's at the back of the field in this one, and this will be a disaster if Bellevue bring home another 5 1. Mark Riss. A slight mistake there as uh, Dorshell tries to build up his pace. Not too much between second and third all the time. Rohan Tungate's got away. And Jakob Dorshell has got to pull off a, a special move here if he wants to get past Mark Riss. The German locking up slightly there on the inside. Here comes Dorshell right round his outside. Absolutely nothing between them into the pits corner. And Dorshell just slots into second. Well done by the Wolverhampton heat leader. One final challenge coming up from Mark Riss. But the Aces try back with a 4-2 heat advantage of their own there in Heat 7. And Jakob Thorshell had to work overtime to avoid another 5-1 reverse. Impressive stuff from Thorshell battling his way through after making a poor start. But the Aces, well, they'll be delighted there in Heat 7 as Rohan Tungate takes an impressive win. So Tungate with the victory. Second man home, Jakob Thorshell. Third spot, Mark Riss. A 4-2 to the visitors. And at the halfway stage, the score moves on 18 to the Paris International Walls and 24 to the Bellevue Aces.
On we go to heat number eight. Wolves once again down by six. And uh, looking to their two reserves here as Ash Morris out to replace Kyle Howarth. James Sargent programmed. Not going to be easy because they're up against Steve Worrell and the impressive Mark Riss, who's uh, certainly returned to Monmore this evening and putting in a good performance. So from the inside, James Sargent. He lines up in the blue helmet colour gate one. It will be Mark Riss in yellow gate two. Ash Morris, he goes in red gate three. And off the outside in white for Bellevue, it is Steve Worrell. Good to see Steve Worrell back on a bike in recent weeks after three months on the sidelines with a uh, badly broken leg. As the starting marshal gets the four riders to settle down for this eighth race, he now walks away. Takes fly away, they go. Good start for the man off the outside, Steve Worrell. He's clear into the first corner. Worrell away, slotting into second is Ash Morris, crucially for Bellevue, it's Mark Riss in third with Sargent, he's at the back. So Bellevue once again in a heat advantage situation, looking good for them here. Ash Morris and James Sargent, especially Sargent struggling at the back of the field, he's trying to hunt down Mark Riss, but the German once again in a scoring position, and Bellevue, well they'll be delighted with that. Out front and looking good to Steve Worrell. Ash Morris in second, Mark Riss is trying hard, he's gained a few yards there on Ash Morris and there's very little between them with a lap to go. Reese on the tail of Ash Morris, he makes a slight mistake there and Riss has gone down into the pits corner. Heavy knock for the Bellevue man, red lights are on from Peter Clark, it will be an awarded race I'm sure. Worrell from Morris, but a concern for Mark Riss who slid off there into the Pitt's corner fence. Good to see uh, Mark Riss up on his feet. He'll be uh, disappointed with that. But, uh, Mark Riss, good to see no ill effects. But he will be disqualified and it will be an awarded race. So heat number eight, the win is awarded to Steve Worrell. Second man home, Ash Morris. Third spot, James Sargent. A shared race. And after eight races, therefore, 21 to the Paris International Walls and 27 to the Bellevue Aces. On we go then to heat number nine. Walls still with plenty of work to do in this must-win meeting. Line-up for heat nine, going in the blue helmet colour gate one. Sam Masters, gate two. Hoping for better fortunes this time around, Max Frick. Gate three in red will be Jonas B. Anderson. And off the outside in yellow and black, Dimitri Berger. So can the walls make gates one and three count here? Masters and Anderson, 5-1 in their last outing together. Although B. Anderson did win heat six. And replaced Rory Schlein as the injury rider replacement. Walls well up against it, having lost their numbers one and two here tonight. As they come to water, heat nine. Takes fly away, they go. Sam Masters with a lovely start off, gate number one. Jonas B. Anderson's made a reasonable one as well. And Max Frick out of shape into the first corner. Here comes Berger around outside of B. Anderson. Frick trying to storm his way through on his inside. But it's Walls one and two. Masters away and looking good. Jonas B. Anderson in second, slotting into third. It's uh, Dimitri Berger with Max Frick after making a poor start. He's finding himself on the back. So the Walls are striking back here in heat nine. They need to bring home this maximum. Masters has roared up to leave B. Anderson to ride his own race. But looking good here, Jonas B. Anderson. In second comes with me clear of Max Frick, who's trying to hunt him down, 10 metres between them. Masters is going to take the victory as uh, Frick's working overtime, trying to hunt down B. Anderson. He's got plenty of work to do with a lap to go. And Walls on their way to their first final maximum of the night. Crucial for them. They turn into the park corner for the final time. Masters will win it on one wheel. B. Anderson comes home for second, Frick for third. And that was well worked there by the Paris International Walls. Crucial that Sam Masters made a good start, did so from the inside. And Jonas B. Anderson was there to join him. And the Wolves take a big 5-1, and they're both coming around on a lap of honour. So the Wolves are back within two, and that was oh so important for them there. This bumper crowd at Montmore tonight. 
Still uh, not able to relax as the Wolves down by two, but they certainly enjoyed that one there. Masters with a win, B. Anderson for second, Frick for third, a 5-1, and with nine races gone, the score moves on, 26 to the Paris International Wolves and 28 to the Bellevue Aces. On we go then to Heat 10, just two points between the sides and another crucial race here. Sam Masters back out as the injury rider replacement. Ash Morris replacing Kyle Howarth. Mark Riss once again getting the nod in place of Dan Bewley and Rowan Tungate, the only programme rider here. So it will be Ash Morris lining up on the inside. Next to him in Yolan Black, an impressive winner in his last out in Rowan Tungate. Gate three in the red helmet colour will be Sam Masters and in white taking the rider replacement ride for Bellevue, Mark Riss. So they settle down then for heat number 10. Flutter takes away they go. Level start into the first corner. Oh, and Tungate's been brought down and Mark Riss has come down as well. Both aces men hit the deck. Red light straight on from Peter Clark. And that was a tight first corner. Tungate's back aboard his machine. I think Riss has uh, suffered a knot there, just walking back gingerly to his bike as we'll look at that once more. And you can see away from the line, it was a very competitive first corner. And Rohan Tungate from the Bellevue Ace has got the rough end of things and his team partner Mark Riss going down as well. It will be all four back, I'm sure, from referee Peter Clark, but not what the Bellevue boys wanted there. Meantime, what's going on here? Mark Riss and Sam Masters are having words. And Mark Riss has, uh, well, seemingly just knocked Sam Masters to the ground. Mechanics out to restrain the Bellevue man. And what's that all about? Mark Riss from Bellevue, unhappy with something either that's been said or uh, with his own views on the first corner. Masters can't believe it. And uh, Mark Riss very fired up and it's taken mechanics to restrain the German there. And, uh, well, tempers need to uh, be calmed down because uh, that's totally unnecessary. All four are back in the restart, but German Mark Riss very unhappy with something there. And, uh, well, things just need to calm down slightly. Slight delay then ahead of the restart. All four riders back to the line. Hopefully, no uh, continuation of the aggro that uh, we just saw there. So, we'll remind you of the lineup going in the blue helmet colour gate one. It is Ash Morris. Gate two in yellow and black, Rohan Tungate. Gate three in red, Sam Masters. And off the outside in white, Mark Riss. We remind you, Wall's down by two points at 5 1, crucial out of heat nine. But need to add to it here with Masters and Morris. Must win meeting for both sides. Wolves were disappointed not to leave the National Stadium this morning with any points at all. Just a couple of points between the sides with three to go, but uh, Bellevue slammed in three five ones, which killed off the Wolves' challenge. As they're taking their time here ahead of the rerun of heat number 10. Settle down then for the restart. Takes fire where they go. Good start from uh, the man off the outside, Mark Riss. A good one once again from the German. And he's certainly got his gating gloves on tonight. Slotting into second, it's Ash Morris. It's uh, Sam Masters in third. And now Ash Morris out of shape. And Ash Morris has collected Mark Riss there. And Sam Masters has come down as well. The red light's on from Peter Clark. And Carnage once again this time. Ashley Morris, I suspect, will go because he looked to be at fault there on the inside of Mark Riss. And what a crash bang wallop type of meeting we've got here at Monmore tonight. Let's hope the boys are okay. Sam Masters was quick up. Mark Riss walking back, but concern here for Ash Morris, who will be disqualified as we'll look at that once more. And you can see a fast start once again for Mark Riss from the Bellevue Aces, stormed his way to the front. Ash Morris slotting into second, Sam Masters in third, and then Ash Morris on the inside going into the park corner, out of shape, locking up and collecting Mark Riss there. 
And Sam Massa's having to lay his bike down. And, uh, well, concern for Ash Morris. He will be disqualified. And the walls, well, Sam Massa's having to go it alone in the restart of Heat 10. Pleased to report Ash Morris was able to walk back to the pits, albeit somewhat gingerly. Ash Morris disqualified, so it's three riders only for the re rerun of Heat 10. No rider gate one, it's uh, Rowan Tungate gate two, Sam Masters gate three with Mark Riss, he's off the outside. They settle down there for Heat 10. It takes fly away, they go. Good start from Sam Masters off gate number three, and he gets to the first corner. Masters away, it's Tungate into second, Mark Riss in third. Important for Wolverhampton that Sam Masters made a nice start and he's away. Looks back to see where Rowan Tungate is. He's already got a five metre advantage. And Masters imperative for the Paris International Walls that he can bring this home here. So Masters then from Tungate. Third still is Mark Riss. The two Bellevue boys will be more than content, I think, to pack the places. Sam Masters with no team partner. As they're heading to the park corner with just over a lap to go. So Masters looking good from Roman Tungate, Mark Riss in third. Sam Masters, it will be his third victory of the evening. It will move him on to 10 points. As he comes around the final corner, Masters takes the win. Tungate home for second, Mark Riss for third. And that was also important for the Wolverhampton map. Sam Masters to make a swift start there. Did so, and he didn't look back. He's going to head back to the pits quickly. Fine stuff from Sam Masters in heat 10. He wins it from Rohan Tungate. Mark Riss for third, a shared race. And after 10 races here, 29 to the Paris International Walls and 31 to the Bellevue Aces. On we go then to heat number 11. Ash Morris to be replaced by James Sargent in this one. Hopefully Ash will be okay to continue here this evening. Wolves don't want to lose any more riders tonight. The lineup for heat 11 sees Craig Cook going in the white hammer colour gate one. It's Jakob Thorshell in red gate two. Steve Worrell, he goes in yellow and black gate three with James Sargent. He's in blue off the outside. So just two points between the sides. Important like it was for Sam Masters to win the last race. Jakob Thorshell has got to do likewise here. Up against the so far unbeaten Craig Cook, who's looked in sublime style today. Went unbeaten at the National Stadium this morning. And a two out of two so far for him as well tonight. They're just taking their time to settle down here ahead of uh, heat number 11. Starting muscle just checking on Steve Worrell, who's taking his time. Once again, Steve Worrell deciding to reposition himself there in gate number three. As they come to order heat 11. Takes fly where they go. Good start from Jakob Thorshell. Electric away from gate number two. He's well clear into the first corner. It's Thorshell away. Craig Cook though slotting into second. Not too much between those two. It's Worrell in third with Sargent at the back. So important for Wolverhampton that Thorshell made a lovely start. He's done just that. Away and gone. And Cook seemingly will be beaten for the first time today. Thorshell with a 10 metre lead over the Aces man. Worrell in third. With uh, Sergeant out of the back, but no one's going to catch Jakob Thorshell in this one. Going to be another share. And, uh, Bellevue's two point lead, their slender lead, will be maintained as they come through with a lap to go. Thorshell then, looking good on his way for his first victory of the evening. Thorshell from Cook, he's also got time to pull a wheelie down the back straight for the final time. Around the final corner they come, Thorshell wins it. Cook home for second. Worrell comes home for third, shared race. And Thorshell, no mistakes in that one at all. He's going to come around on a lap of honour as the tractor once again is coming out for a grade. We're going to take a, uh, a small interval here at Monmore. And Thorshell delighted with his ride there in heat number 11. So Thorshell with the win, Cook for second, Worrell for third, a shared race, and with 11 heats gone, it's 32 to the Paris International Walls and 34 
to the Bellevue Aces. Interval concluded. We are on to heat number 12. The lineup for this one going in the yellow and black helmet colour for Bellevue. It's Dimitri Berger. Gate two in red, it's uh, Jonas B. Anderson. Gate three in white, Steve Worrell taking the rider replacement ride and off the outside replacing James Sargent, it will be Ash Morris. So good to see Ash seemingly suffering no ill effects after his heat 10 spill. What can he do here off the outside? We come to order for heat number 12. Takes fly where they go. New level start, but it's Jonas B. Anderson into the first corner. Steve Worrell has taken Ash Morris down there. Ash Morris hitting the deck once again. The red lights are on straight away from Peter Clark. And Ash Morris certainly in the walls here this evening. Let's hope he's going to be all right. Look at that again. And you can see how tight the first corner it was. Jonas B. Anderson had made a good start, but uh, Worrell taking uh, Ash Morris down. Morris back upon his feet. No disqualification on for the Bellevue man. And so it will be all four for the rerun of Heat 12. So a really tight contest here at Monmore as we expected. Nothing given on the first corner. Some really uh, close action. So a couple of minutes delay for Ash Morris to uh, compose himself. Okay, to uh, start again in this one. So the lineup: Dimitri Berger, gate one. Jonas B. Anderson, gate two. It's Steve Worrell, gate three. With Ash Morris, he's in at gate number four. As they settle down, the rerun of heat 12. Takes fly where they go. Once again, it's a level start, but it's Jonas B. Anderson and gets there, and Ash Morris has got to the first corner as well. And it's Wolves one and two. B. Anderson and Morris. Steve Worrell got bundled out of things into the first corner, and the Wolves are away here. Ash Morris taking it out from Jonas B. Anderson. First spot is uh, Dimitri Berger with Worrell not in contention. And the Wolves here on their way to a big, big 5 1. And if they can bring this home, they'll go into the lead. Morris looking good out front from Jonas B. Anderson. Third spot is still Berger. They're under no pressure out front. The Wolves boys looking good in this heat 12. Morris with a lovely start around the outside. And Jonas B. Anderson there as well. And the Wolves, can they bring this home? Down the back straight they go. Ashley Morris and Jonas B. Anderson coming up with big rides here at heat number 12. It's a massive, massive 5 1 for the Paris International Wolves as Morris wins it. Second man home was Jonas B. Anderson. Dimitri Berger home for third. And what a time to bang in another 5 1. The home side take the lead for the first time this evening. Courtesy of Ash Morris and Jonas B. Anderson. What a lovely start it was from Ash Morris, and you can see what it means to him. The Wolves fans really fired up here at Monmore this evening. And the Wolves, well, they go into the lead courtesy of Ash Morris and Jonas B. Anderson. And what an absolutely vital ride that was from both of them there. Morris taking the win, crucial from him. Jonas B. Anderson for second. First spot went to Dimitri Berger. A 5-1. And after 12 races, the score moves on. 37 to the Paris International Wolves and 35 to the Bellevue Aces. Second in red, Jonas B. Anderson. Third in yellow, Dimitri Berger. Well, the Paris International Wolves into the lead for the first time tonight. We move on to a crucial heat, number 13. The injury rider replacement in this one being taken by James Sargent. Peter Adams with very few options. And so Sargent getting the nod here in the red helmet colour. Next to him in the white helmet colour gate number two for Bellevue, it's Craig Cook. In gate three in blue, it's Jacka Thorshell. And off the outside in yellow and black for Bellevue, it is Max Frick. After winning his first outing, Max Frick has struggled since. As they come to order, 4-8-13. Bob Flyer takes where they go. It's a good start from the two aces men. 
Patrick with a lovely start from the outside and Craig Cook somehow got himself to the first corner and it's Cook that shows Frick into second. Third at this stage is Jacques Thorshell trying to cut it down on the inside of the Australian but Bogey responding straight away here in heat number 13 on their way to a maximum. It's Cook from Frick. Cook's gone off to leave Frick to defend himself in second place as Thorshell trying to build up his pace here. Sergeant unfortunately for the Wolves not involved in this one and it's left to Thorshell trying to hunt down Max Frick and so Bellevue, if they can bring home the 5-1 here, it will put them back into the lead with just two to go. And the lap remaining of Heat 13, cut them from Frick. Thorshell has no answer. And the Bellevue Aces are going to strike back straight away in Heat 13 with a 5-1 of their own, which once again puts them into the lead. Cook celebrates with the wheelie. Frick home for second. First one went to Jakob Thorshell. Fine stuff from the Aces men there. Disappointment for Wolverhampton. And this topsy-turvy fixture. A must-win meeting for both sides. A 5-1 there to the visitors. And with two to go, Bellevue and their fans will be delighted with that. They're coming round on a lap of honour. And as we said, plenty of fans have made the journey down from Manchester this evening. And the Aces, well, they're pumped up with that one. Fine stuff from Cook and from Frick in heat number 13. The Aces number one, Craig Cook taking the win from Max Frick. Third spot, Jakob Thorshell, a 5-1 to the visitors, and with two to go, the score moves on. 38 to the Paris International Wolves and 40 to the Bellevue Aces. And 30 for Jakob Thorshell. One point to the Wolves and five to the Aces. Two leagues to go, Paris International Wolves. And Paris International Wolves. What a dramatic meeting then here at Monmore as we move on to heat number 14. The Aces back into the lead thanks to that 5-1 in heat 13. And the Wolves looking to strike straight back here in heat 14. The riders at the tapes from the inside in the white helmet colour. It is Rohan Tungate. Ash Morris, he goes in blue off gate two. Gate number three in the yellow and black helmet colour has been impressive tonight. Mark Riss and off the outside in the... Red helmet colour, it is Sam Masters. Absolutely essential here that Masters maintains his fine run of four. Morris looked good in his last outing. What can they deliver here in heat number 14? The starting marshal's happy with the He now walks away. Takes fly away they go. And it's a good stop from Rowan Tucker, but Ash Morris has got to the first corner. And here comes Sam Masters around the outside, and the walls are one and two. Looking good for the walls out front with Morris making a lovely start once again. Masters around the outside, and Masters looking across to his team partner. Tongue not too far behind. Morris at the back, and so Wolves striking back in heat number 14. Another 5 1 here, and Masters and Morris have got to bring this home. Tongue not too far away. Two laps gone of heat 14. The two Wolves boys trying to team line all the time, looking for each other. Tongue not too far behind, but makes a slight mistake there. Into the park corner they go. Tungate gains ground on Ash Morris, but once again locks up, and the Wolves have got to bring this home with a lap to go. Masters of Morris under all sorts of pressure from the Bellevue man. Down the back straight they go for the final time. The Wolves are going to bring home another 5 1. They'll go into the last, leading by a couple of points. Masters of Morris deliver the goods there in Heat 14. Brilliant stuff for the Paris International Wolves. They may be down, but they're certainly not out, and they're going into a last easy side here at Monmore. Fabulous stuff from the Wolverhampton pair as Morris and Masters come up trumps in heat number 14. Brilliant stuff from them. Ashley Morris has certainly turned things around in these last couple of rides with two important victories. And the Wolves fans in this must-win meeting, they'll go into a last heat decider and they can maintain their playoff hopes and perhaps potentially extinguish those of the Bellevue Aces. Brilliant stuff from the Wolves there in heat 14. Ash Morris taking the win from Sam Masters. Rohan Tungate for third, a 5-1 and with one to go, the score moves on 43 to the Paris International Wolves and 41 to the Bellevue Aces. Here we go then, the last heat decider here at Monmore. The Wolves, absolutely essential that they get the three points out of this race to give them victory here this evening. Bellevue, after being up by six points, they won't believe they're going to a last heat decider. It's an absolutely crucial meeting for them as well. 
Rider nominations are in from the two team managers. Peter Adams for the Wolves, plumping for Sam Matters and Jakob Thorshell. Mark Lemon for Bellevue has picked his top two, Craig Cook and Max Frick. And it will be Craig Cook lining up in the white helmet colour here off the inside. So Cook off gate one, next to him in red, Sam Masters. Gate two in yellow and black, it's Max Frick. Gate three in blue, Jakob Thorshell. A last heat decided then here at Monmouth Green. Which way is it going to go? As the starting marshal calls all to order, he's now happy, he walks away. Here we go, heat 15. Bob Florida takes away the go, it's a very level start, tight into the first corner, but Sam Masters gets there, and Masters away, here comes Frick round the outside, and it's the Bellevue man out front, Max Frick leads from Sam Masters, third is Craig Cook, here comes Thorshell going wide on the top corner, and Thorshell's gone down, Thorshell hits the deck, the ace is out, one and two, and the race continues now, the red lights come on for Peter Clark, with the ace is out front, Jakob Thorshell has hit the deck, more, more drama here at Monmore, we await the word from Peter Clark, I suspect that Thorshell will be disqualified. He came down on his own and Thorshell hitting the deck on the first lap. Bellevue were away with Frick out front. And we'll look at that again. Pure drama here at Monmore. Let's hope Jakob Thorshell's okay. The blue light is on for him. And you can see that he just got things wrong going into the top corner. And Thorshell disqualified and all the pressure in the world now on Sam Masters, he's got to go it alone in the restart of Heat 15. So there will be three riders only for the rerun. Pure, pure drama here then at Monmore this evening. Sam Masters going it alone for the Wolves. He's got to bring this home. He's got to post the victory. Here we go, the restart of Heat 15. The takes fly, away they go. It's a lovely start from Sam Masters. He gets to the first corner, although Craig Cook will try to come through. Here comes Max Frick around the outside, and it's awfully tight, and Frick trying to storm his way through on the inside of his fellow Australian. Masters, though, won't be denied, and he storms his way back round to the front. Brilliant first lap from Sam Masters. Wasn't to be denied there by Max Frick, but Masters has got to bring this home. Masters, two and a half laps away from victory for the Paris International Walls. Bellevue, they will race to the line. Masters out front, extending his lead. Max Frick in second, Cook in third, can Masters bring this home? He's pulling away from the Bellevue pair, and Masters, he's had a fabulous evening here at Monmore, and he looks as if he'll be the match winner for the home side a lap to go. Masters from Frick, Cook still in third, the Aces have no answer, and Bellevue are going to fall short, and the Wolves, thanks to Sam Masters, are going to be victorious here at Monmore this evening. Off the final corner, Masters wins it on one wheel. Fabulous stuff from Sam Masters, what a brilliant performance he's put in tonight. Sam Masters wins it for the Paris International Wolves and their playoff hopes are maintained. The fireworks light the sky in the most dramatic meeting we've seen here at Monmore in many a long day. Brilliant performance from Sam Masters who had to go there out alone in heat number 15 and he's come up trumps and you can see what it means to him. Well what an absolutely sensational meeting it's been here at Monmore this evening. A celebratory wheelie from Sam Masters as he gives the Paris International Walls victory. He's coming around on another lap of honour as well. Absolutely imperative that he made the start and he did just that. It was a fast start into the first corner and the Bellevue boys, well, for them, they had no answer there. Brilliant stuff there in heat number 15 from Sam Masters. Max Frick comes home for second. Third spot, Craig Cook. It's a shared race in the last and thus the final score. 46 to the Paris International Walls, 44 to the Bellevue Aces. In a few moments time, in the meantime we're up to the box for the official result of heat number 15. Well, what a most dramatic meeting here at Monmore this evening. The Paris International Wolves victorious by 46 points to 44. Let's quickly run through the individual point scorers. For the Paris International Wolves, Rory Schlein failed to score, and we wish Rory all the very best. Similarly, Carl Howarth, he also failed to score. Jonas Bjarnason scoring 7 and 2. Sam Masters, a brilliant performance tonight with 15 plus 1. Jakob Thorshell, he scored 10. And the two reserves, Ash Morris, also scoring 10. James Sargent, 4 plus 3. 
For the Aces, Craig Cook scored 12 on one, Steve Worrell scoring 7 plus 2, Rohan Tungate scored 8, Max Frick 8 plus 1, Dimitri Berger scored 3 and Mark Riss scored 6 plus 2. So that all adds up to 46 to the Paris International Walls, 44 to the Bellevue Aces, a most dramatic meeting here at Montmore this evening. We hope you've enjoyed it and from all of us here on Clean Cut Sports, it's a very good night.